Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you two examples of how I paint roses. I'm using oil paint with terpenoid as a thinning medium and a wood panel primed with gesso as my painting surface. Just so you know, this is not any particular technique, this is just how I do them and I hate following rules with art, so I don't believe in a wrong or right way to experiment. By the way, check out this flake white. It had a giant hole in the bottom, so I taped it up with tin foil tape. And yes, such a thing exists, and it worked pretty good, so yay! The first method took about 10 minutes. We're just gonna get straight to painting freehand. The colors I'm mixing are permanent rose, burnt umber, and crimson. And I'm going to just create the basic shape of the rose. The center is a bit darker, and I'm adding white closer to the edges, because the outer petals of the rose have the most light hitting them, and we'll be able to see that soft pink. Next, I'm using a clean brush to pick up some of that paint and create the shapes where I see light in the petals of the rose. I clean the brush periodically by dipping it onto a paint thinner and wiping it dry on a paper towel. It doesn't matter what size or brush you use, it just make sure to choose one that you think will create the proper line and shape. To create more depth in the rose, I'm using raw umber and crimson for those inner shadows that are deeper inside the rose where the petals stem from. I then bring in a soft pink color and add white highlights around the edges of the petals. I'm continuously bringing in other colors I've created when I feel that I need them. Just feel as you go. You don't have to put colors in a particular order. It really all depends on what you see and what you think needs to go where. The second method could potentially take twice as long because I'm working with a sketch so the shapes of the details are predetermined and this requires more time and precision. I'm using the same colors for the same places, only instead of eyeballing where the shapes are going, I'm putting them within the guidelines of the drawing. This is actually how I do most of my paintings. They're almost always starting with a sketch. Well, I hope that this has been useful for those of you who asked me to make this tutorial. I have a new print in my art store. It's a limited edition run of 25 prints only of my painting Shatter. I hope you like it. Here, would you like to try some paint thinner? Mmm, delicious. Is it everything you've wanted? Is it everything you've dreamed of? If it is, there's something very, very wrong with you. This is perfect.